Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. I'm Tessa with mamasgeeky.com. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me. Uh, I'm like a massive fan of your career, so oh. this is very exciting. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, of course. So I'd love to know like where you got the bug to want to do like directing. Uh-huh. I don't know exactly <laughs> other than <laughs> at some point, you know, uh, being on set, I, you know, when I first started acting in film and television, I had no idea what was going on, uh, what the crew was doing, who, who were all these people, what were their jobs. <laughs> I felt like I was constantly standing in the wrong place. And, you know, I, I didn't even really know what they meant when they said, you know, get in your light. <laughs> um, and then at a certain point, I started to like figure out the basics of that. And then I got more curious about what everyone was doing and how it all came together and what were the components and what really what was the role of a director. And and so I think it was just hours spent on set um, and wanting to challenge myself. Um, it was very intimidating to me to to do anything other than act on set, but I also took that as uh, an indication that maybe I should give it a try. <laughs> awesome. Well, I know you did some like short documentary type mm -hmm. things. So what was it like jumping into like a full feature length and for Disney? That's yeah, that have been a lot. <laughs> yes. So um, yeah, and it was a very different style of documentary for me as well. So there were a lot of firsts about this. Um, I hadn't really done one that was verite in the moment following people as things were happening. I'd done more like sit down interviews and then archival footage. So um, it, yeah, and then this was my first um, feature length documentary as well. So um, I think I am just a very lucky person in that I've gotten to work with people who are very skilled um, and put together a really great team around me. And so together we did it. And that really is documentary is, you know, it takes so many people to make a documentary producers, editors, story producers. Um, and so I, I really enjoy that aspect of it as well. I like working, storming. Um, building off of each other's ideas and so we all together made more than robots <laughs> well i really enjoyed it i love the stem or i guess it's steam now because arts is yes. included <laughs> aspect of it because i have two daughters they're nine and ten uh, and they're big into this sort of thing um so i love that can you talk about just the importance of steam yeah for kids Absolutely. Yeah, I've I've seen firsthand, you know, I can I can speak to the experience of all the students in this program and how much they love it, how much they gain from it, how, um, you know, working on a hands on um, program like this makes learning fun. They want to spend as many hours as possible working on these robots and that is doing engineering computer programming, they are learning how to be mechanical engineers, they are learning so many skills and and they want to do it. Um, so I feel like this is like a program that really just seems to make kids excited about learning, excited about STEAM and um, I, I don't know, they, they seemingly like would spend 24 hours a day there in the robotics uh, workshop if they were allowed to. And that I think is a pretty great and special program. You know, anytime you have kids wanting to get up on a Saturday and go to school, I think that's that's a pretty special program. Yeah, absolutely. They all were so inspiring. And then especially, I'm sure you guys weren't planning on things to take a turn for the pandemic coming. No. And the every, way everything wrapped up, the fact that they all use their skills to help. Like, how inspiring were these kids in real life? I, I, I can't tell you how moving it was to, to watch all of that. Um, to start to hear about these students and these teams around the world. They weren't being told by the program to do this. This was totally on their own independently. And you really just saw they had internalized all of the principles of this program. They looked around and they thought, we have skills, we have tools, we have abilities, let's try and help. I mean, it's it's incredible, you know, to get to speak to these kids and, um, 
it was it was just amazing um and you know it's why the title is more than robots because it's uh, it, it, the robots you know are what draw them in but it's about so much more yeah and did you ever like dive in and try to build a robot <laughs> Not yet. Uh, I have too much respect for them, um, but maybe someday it would be fun. I, I, uh, I definitely see the appeal, um, but I have not had the opportunity to build a robot yet. I'll tell you, I was inspired watching this. I was like, I want to do this. I want to get my yeah. hands dirty and figure this hey, out. Hey, you got two kids. You could, you know, you could find yourself being a, a mentor on a team before you know it. <laughs> I got, they, listen, they would sign up for that in a heartbeat. <laughs> uh, now you have obviously a lot of comedic roles. That's really what you're, I would say, most known for. Would you ever like direct a comedy, do you think? So interesting. I have not thought of that. Um, I directed a short film, a scripted short film, but it was sort of more of like a horror suspense film. Uh, which seemed to really take people by surprise. And I think I kind of enjoyed the fact that everybody thought I would make a comedy and that it really wasn't. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe, I'm not going to say no. Uh, yeah, maybe someday. Awesome. And then I got to ask you, what's it like working with Disney? Uh, this, I mean, this was an amazing experience. You know, Lucasfilm sponsored this 2020 season of um, of the first robotics and clearly very invested in believes in the program and and also I'd say Lucasfilm really was so amazing to me as a director and I believe that I can say that um I directed a Lucasfilm documentary that's sort of surreal um not not something I ever thought I'd say but um it was it was wonderful um I I'm kind of pinching myself <laughs> Awesome. Well, um, just thank you so much for taking the time today. And I, I've got to tell you, so in my house, whenever anyone does anything silly, the girls have not seen Community, but the go-to <laughs> is the Doi Britta. And our, so I've got to tell you that. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. I appreciate it. Have a great it. day. You too. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face to face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.